when we work, we need the right tools and materials in the best place so we can do a good job. 5S is a way to organise your work better so it is easier, safer and more productive all the time. 5S has been used for over a hundred years in many industries. Each S stands for an action that helps you do your job better. The five S's stand for sort, set in place, shine, standardize, and sustain. Sort. You sort out what you need to do your job and remove the rest. Set in place. You set up your workplace so you can see everything you need to do your job and you can get it easily. Shine. You clean and check the equipment and workplace and you keep it clean so you can spot wear and tear and fix it before it becomes a problem. Standardize. The workplace is set up so you can immediately see if anything is out of place. Sustain. 5S becomes part of our everyday working life. We keep doing the other 4S's so we don't slip back into bad habits. How does 5S work? You make it work. Because the person doing the job knows the problems and what the best solutions are. Using lines, shapes and colours, 5S makes locating things quick and easy. You can see what should be there and what is missing, so that you don't have to go searching for tools, parts and information. Visual communication is part of your everyday life and 5S will make it part of your everyday working life. 5S works in any industry. Manufacturing, hospitals, warehousing. It works whether your workplace is big or small. 5S is not just about cleaning up at the end of the day. It will cut down on frustration and help you do your job easier, faster and better. So why do 5S? What's in it for you? It improves safety. It saves time and effort. It helps your work flow smoothly. It also saves waste and space. It reduces costs and frustration. It's an easy system to follow. It doesn't take much to get started and you'll enjoy your job more. 5S makes sense. To get started, invite everyone who works in your area to be part of your 5S team. Then select part of your work area to sort. Take photos of the area before you sort and put them on a display board. Discuss and decide which equipment, tools and materials you need in your area and put aside what you don't need. Make sure everyone who works in the area agrees with what has been sorted. Only keep what you need in your area and then remove the things you don't need from your work area. If it's obvious junk, you can toss it out. Return things that belong in a storage area to that storage area. If you are unsure about anything, you should red tag it with a label, stating your name, date and why it is not needed. Then move these items to a red tag holding area where people can recover something if they change their minds. Or the company can look at it later and make a decision to repair, recycle, sell or dispose of it in some other way. You should then regularly check that only essential items are kept in your work area. It is best to keep on sorting regularly. Set your workplace in order. Have you got all the things you need to do the job? And are they in the best place to do the job? Some things you use all the time. Put the items you use every day where you use them or can see them and get to them easily. This makes your work easier and less frustrating 
because you don't have to walk around looking for things. And it makes your work safer because you don't have to twist, bend or stretch to get things. Things you use every week. Store them in the area where you use them. Things you use every month. Store them in a central area. Things you rarely use. Store outside the work area. Mark and label items. Or colour code them for your area so people know where they belong. Mark and label locations to show where items belong. You might need a few tries to find the best locations. You can use tape, cardboard, chalk or masking tape to start. When you've made your final decision, you can mark the areas with something more permanent like paint. Everything should have a home and everything should be in its place. Each time you finish using an item, put it back where it belongs immediately. Regularly check that every item is where it should be. Do this as part of your work routine. This will keep everything set in place. Shine. The first step is to clean and check the equipment and workplace. Why should we clean? You do this so you can spot wear and tear and fix it before it becomes a problem. You will also be able to see potential hazards and do something about them. Make a list of the items that need to be cleaned and checked and how often they should be cleaned. Record when you've done it so you know when it should be done next. Put the checklist on the wall or on the machine to be cleaned where it's easy to see. This reminds you of when the next clean and check is coming up. If something creates dirt all the time, see if you can get rid of the source of the dirt. You clean and check the equipment and workplace and you keep it clean. It will become part of your work routine. Taking good care of equipment means equipment is reliable and safe. If you do find something wrong or defective, make sure you follow your workplace procedures. Don't make repairs you are not qualified to do. This may lead to an unsafe situation. Shine. Keep cleaning and keep checking. Now your workplace is set up so you can see immediately if anything is out of place. How can you make sure it is also clear to other people? Standardise means making it easy and quick for everyone to see what is needed to do the job in the same way to get the same result. Why standardise? When things are standardised, people from other shifts can do the job the same way. Or if you're away or on holidays, people can do your job without making mistakes or getting frustrated. There are some simple visual methods you can use to standardise your working area, such as photos, sketches, diagrams, painting, colour coding, tapes or shadow boards. This tells everyone where things should be and how they should look so you can immediately see if something is in the wrong place or if you're running out of something so you can do something about it before it becomes a problem. You'll be able to see what's normal and what's not normal. Visual communication helps you keep up the standardization. How does 5S get sustained? How do we keep it going? Well, you sustain it. You maintain the standardization by regular checking or auditing. You can do this yourself or with the help of others. 
record these checks or audits and display them in the work area. The point of checks or audits is to lead to action if necessary. Discuss with the team what things need improvement and what you will do to achieve that improvement. Write it down. This might be things you actually do or it might be recommendations you make. When you use 5S correctly, you keep improving. You will feel pride in your workplace. Your observations and your ideas can be put into action. Five S will be part of everything you do, every day. To sustain Five S, you must keep the other four S's happening. If you keep on with sort, set in place, shine, and standardize, you will sustain an easier, safer, and more productive workplace all the time.